So as many of you would know, Microsoft has this website called ideas.powerbi.com and you can log any ideas for improvements within the Power BI product that you would like to see implemented. Now this is an idea that I logged way back in July 2016, so that's uh, about five and a half years ago at the time of this video. And I wanted the ability to be able to use different number formatting within a column. And this is particularly useful when you're doing something like a P&L, but also when you're doing other types of calculations. So historically, I've used switch measures for this. As someone has pointed out down here, you can use calculation groups for this as well. But this is all complex DAX, and there is an easier way using the new Info River custom visual. So let me jump over and show you how to do it. So there's four different versions of the Info River custom visual. I'm using the second version, which is called Professional. The first version is Info River Standard. That's got a lot of great IBCS automatic template formats that you can use to very quickly and easily build reports. But in order to get this feature, you would need at least the professional version. So this is the PL which I've previously created in other videos. And I've got the revenue, cost of sales, expenses, etc. All of these numbers are coming directly from my underlying data. But some of these calculations, the ones with the edit symbol here, have been calculated by me. So the gross margin calculation, if I jump in and show you, is a simple Info River formula that just says take the net sales line and subtract the cost of sales line. And I can do exactly the same thing in order to do something like gross margin percentage. So I'm going to insert a calculated row. So this is the spreadsheet like capabilities that comes with Info River. So this is going to be my So gross margin percent of net sales revenue. And the formula is very simple. It's just, it's just the gross margin divided by the net sales. So very simple, intuitive formula language. I don't want to include this in the total. If I left this tick, then this number would be added up into the total. So I deselect that. I can put a description here if I want, and I'll go ahead and create that. So what I'll do is I'll um, add a couple more, and then I'll come back and do the formatting. So here, operating profit, I'm going to add a calculated row, and this will be operating profit percent of net sales revenue, and it will be operating profit divided by. So see how it looks and feels like a spreadsheet. Very quick and easy to do. So much harder to do inside standard Power BI. And the last thing I'll do is the net income. So I'll do another row. So percent of net sales revenue. And I can't remember whether I turned that one off before. Let me go back and check. Very easy to go back. I did turn that one off. Okay, so there's the three formulas. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just zoom out so I get them all on the screen. And I'm going to multi-select these three numbers and come up to the Home tab. And now I can apply different formatting for just these numbers in the same column. Very, very difficult to do in standard Power BI. No ability in standard Power BI to insert these calculated rows like I'm showing you. And this spreadsheet-like experience is really a game changer when it comes to the Info River custom visual.